morning and welcome to the channel. It is the Friday before Labor Day and today we're going to be focusing on something that a lot of people have issues with and that is this thing right here. That is a round bale and the issue at hand is how to unroll it without killing yourself trying to. So I'm going to show you all a little bit about this. So I have a guy that sells me really good hay uh, here locally and I just went by and picked this up. I've got this on my trailer. Uh, I don't have a big fancy truck and I don't need one because with my sheep, I only need one at a time. But one of the things that we're gonna be doing today is I have an area, and I'll show you later on in the video, where I cannot get anything to grow. A little bit of clover, but that's it. And really at the end of the day, what I'm trying to do with that is get some grass growing because it's a small slant and it actually pulls on that. Um, and when it when I say pull, when it rains, it just pulls all the wool, all of the uh, dirt and everything down and it washes. So today what I'm going to do is an old farmer's trick and that is rolling out hay and just leaving it. So I went by and got a good bale of hay from Mr. Tucker and he told me it's got a lot of seed in it that's good and i'm gonna roll it out i'm gonna let it lay down i'm gonna get the rain that's gonna be coming in here for the next week and we are going to let it pack down and then in the spring i'll have a whole bunch of rain or a whole bunch of seed that will come up from the rain and that'll work so here's what we're gonna do right here is the bale and i want you to look at the core and you can also look right here this is also an indicator when you're unrolling, see where that's flapping? It's not gonna flap this way, it's gonna flap that. So you know that you're gonna have to roll this this way, okay? So you can also see it right here. You can see the definitive line and it's pointing that way, okay? So you can look, you won't see it pointing that way. The roll is going this way, which means it needs to roll out that way. This one may be a little bit of trouble. As you can see, it's flat, but I enjoy the burn. So I'm gonna push this off the trailer. I'm gonna hook it up to the Kubota. I'm gonna push it off the trailer when I get it where I need it to go. And I am going to unroll it and have this job done on Friday and start watching some football. Okay, leave it like this. You can have your bailing twine. Hold on to this too. It's some of the best stuff you'll ever use in your life. I use it for so much stuff. You can recycle it. So I'm just gonna go around here. I'm just gonna kind of casually roll it up. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're gonna get a lot off of this. But this will also make it easier if you leave it like this in this position for now. What this is gonna do is it'll show you just exactly where to roll it out at because it's gonna all fall. There's a lot on this, a lot of bailing twine, but as I said, this bailing twine is great. You're not gonna get a rope, you're not gonna get a string, you're not gonna do anything. I put this up easily against some 550 paracord uh, for all purpose on the farm, okay? All right, let's get this unwrapped. See what I'm talking about? Save that. Save that because you can use it for so much. Okay, so here's where we are going to be doing our rolling. This was an old logging road that they logged on years ago, way before we bought the property. And then when we had the pines taken off uh, in 2019, uh, you can see there's some remnants of, of the pines. But as you can see, it's a nice downhill slope. And what I'm going to do is come down here and roll out. I just can't get anything to grow on this. There's a little bit of clover, maybe a little bit of fescue, but just nothing really. There's some wet spots that uh, produce uh, undesirable grass. So you can see right there. But here's the dilemma. As you get right here and see how wet it's collected right here. Um, 
So there's our dilemma right here on the other side of the fence. This goes down quick. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so this grows nice here, but when it rains and it comes down here, it just washes. And because it's so packed, it doesn't really wash the dirt, but it does come through here. And when it gets down here, it washes as it goes down. So I'm going to knock out two birds with one stone. I am going to come up here and I am going to roll this out to get some nice thick bahia grass in here that uh, will be a good border. And if there's any, I might run it down here a little bit, but I'll probably roll it down and then bring it back up and see how that works out. Let's see how this goes. Well, we got it rolled out. Just to get it started, I want to show you all. I'm going to roll it out here for you, but you'll find out. You can see how thick that is. It's nothing but carbon and seeds going down on the ground. It's a big roll. We're going to go all the way down through there. Let's start rolling. I'll show you guys just how easy this goes. This is called the Stewart Farm CrossFit Plan. You can get on it if you want, or you can pay your dues. This is fairly dry, so you can step on it. <laughs> if this was a thinner rolled rail or a bale, you wouldn't be able to stand on this because you'd be slipping. But it's this easy. See how it just keeps falling off? Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, a couple of things to think about just to wrap it all up. Rolling this down, it's full of seeds. It's also carbon. So if you had cattle in here right now, they would graze on it. They'd spread the seed all over. My sheep are in another pasture. This is really money well spent. $30 bale of hay rolled out. It's gonna stop any wash down the road. It's gonna also put in a wonderful area that's gonna allow me to have grass that I haven't had for the last three years and allow for it to grow and thicken up. Any questions or comments, put them in down below. If you haven't subscribed, please do and give me a thumbs up. Have a great weekend.